chocolate bunnies, jelly beans, plastic grass. If you see all this at the store, it can only mean one thing, it's Easter time. But what is Easter and where did it come from? That's what I wanna to talk to you about in this video. The first thing to understand about Easter is that it's a Christian holiday that celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Christians remember Easter, they use Easter to remember the time when Jesus rose from the dead. The Bible says that the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the central event of Christianity. Without the crucifixion, the death, and resurrection of Jesus, there would be no Christianity. Take a look at 1 Corinthians 15, it explains this in detail in passages like this. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain. If Jesus didn't raise from the dead, then there's no point in being a Christian. So Christians remember Easter, they use Easter to remember that Jesus rose from the dead to celebrate that as a church family, to worship God and read Bible verses about it and, and thank God that Jesus rose from the dead. But there's a lot of other stuff about Easter that is pretty surprising and, and kind of controversial. So let's get to some of that. Easter is not in the Bible. Now, obviously the resurrection is in the Bible, but the word Easter is never found in the Bible. And the holiday that we know as Easter isn't found in the Bible either. Nowhere in the Bible does God say, thou shalt celebrate Easter. In fact, what happened was, as Christians reflected on the resurrection of Jesus, they were inspired to take a day, take a time to celebrate the crucifixion and the resurrection. Eventually, that celebration of the resurrection ended up going on Sunday, and you have Easter Sunday. But it's not commanded in the Bible, and the word Easter doesn't appear anywhere in the Bible. So where does the word Easter come from? Well, this is a matter of huge debate. Some people think that the word Easter comes from an Anglo-Saxon goddess. Some people think that the word Easter comes from a Germanic goddess. Some people think that the word Easter is kind of a take on the German word for dawn or sunrise. And so the answer is we're not really sure. But somehow the word Easter was borrowed and applied and used to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Now, let's talk about the date of Easter. You might have noticed that the date of Easter changes. You know, Christmas is always on December 25th. The 4th of July is always on, that's right, the 4th of July. My wedding anniversary is on June 7th, I think. But Easter changes, why is that? Well, Easter is tied to the Jewish Passover. You know, early Christians, they thought that we should celebrate Easter around the time of the Passover because it was the Passover meal that Jesus celebrated with his disciples right before his arrest, his crucifixion, and his resurrection. And so Easter is going to be always around Passover, but sometimes it's in late March, sometimes it's in later April, and so it bounces around having to do with full moons and all kinds of confusing stuff. Now, as we said, where the word Easter comes from, that's a huge controversy. Well, the date of Easter is even like a bigger controversy. I tried to, I, I studied this a lot and, and get ready for this video and I was gonna explain it to you, but it's just too much. But just understand that at a certain point, Christians decided that they were gonna take one Sunday a year to celebrate the resurrection. It was gonna be in the springtime, kind of tied to Passover. It was also in the springtime that certain pagan religions celebrated some of their gods and goddesses. So there were groups that were having religious festivals around this time of the year and Christians decided that they were celebrating the resurrection of Jesus in the springtime. But Easter is going to bounce around, it's going to move, and if you are Eastern Orthodox, you follow a completely different calendar, and so your Easter is different than the Western Easter. Confused? Yeah, I am too. But there's more about Easter. Many different customs have found their way into Easter. Now, we said that Easter is a Christian celebration, but if that's the case, then where do bunnies come from and where do eggs come from? Last time I read the resurrection, there was no little bunny that hopped across Mary's path as she ran away from the empty tomb. So where did these come from? Again, we don't really know. No one's really sure. There's a, a long history of bunnies and eggs pointing to fertility and representing fertility and being prominent in the springtime. And so probably at some point, some people began to incorporate these images of fertility and springtime into Christian Easter celebration. Whatever the case, we definitely know that bunnies and eggs and chocolate is part of Easter now. In fact, did you know that Easter is the second biggest candy selling holiday after Halloween. So if you ask your kids about Easter, chances are they're gonna think of candy more than pagan religions. So knowing all of this, should Christians celebrate Easter? 
That might kind of sound like a silly question, but what I mean is, knowing all the pagan background, should Christians celebrate Easter? You know, some Christians have been really bothered by all the, this kind of paganism that's part of Easter, like bunnies and eggs and stuff like that, and so they prefer to call Easter Resurrection Sunday, and I think that's great. If you want to call Easter Resurrection Sunday, you're totally allowed to do that. That's totally okay. I think that First and foremost, yes, we should be celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Every Sunday we should celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. And I think it's great to have one Sunday a year where we really focus on the resurrection. And I think it's okay to call that day Easter. I don't think it's a problem. I, I for one, I even allow my kids to go on Easter egg hunts and to decorate Easter eggs, although it's pretty messy. Um, I let them do that because, you know, they don't have that pagan association. They don't think they're worshiping Satan or anything like that. So I think it's okay. The main point is this. Put the focus on Jesus. Make sure that for you and your kids or your friends, that the focus of Easter is not on candy, it's not on Easter bunnies, but it's on Jesus Christ and his resurrection. And if you do that, then I think you're celebrating Easter the right way.